just to recap the game from the other day, you know, we, uh, we kicked off. And I thought we did a great job uh, defensively getting off the field pretty quickly. Uh, we should have handled the one punt. We lost about 13 yards on that exchange by not handling that punt. But uh, came out and ran the ball and then uh, had the turnover that uh, cost us big, that uh, first interception. And then uh, got the ball back, moved it a little bit, punted them in deep, put it on the one yard line, and then got it back again in pretty good field position. Uh, and wasn't able to punch it in, uh, settled for three points. And then we had a, another horrific turnover uh, at the beginning of the second quarter. So we're down to 14 to three. And those two plays kind of set the tempo for the offense. Uh, as, they as we continue to struggle offensively, we've got to find answers on how we can be much more productive. Right now, we're you know, not very dimensional run or pass, so we've got to find a way. And we've got some ideas um, to make us more productive offensively. I think our defense is doing an unbelievable job right now. And, and, and even throughout the course of the game, where you would think that they would get down because we were stalling on offense, they, they never got down. I thought they lost their edge at one point in time, but I, I thought they played hard, extreme, extremely hard the entire game. I thought we played well in special teams. Uh, we did have a, a punt block, which we missed a twist. And then we had a field goal that was tipped. Uh, those things can't happen. Uh, but uh, obviously, we have to find ways to be much more productive offensively um, uh, to give ourselves a chance to be successful. Film on Dyson, yeah, he's pretty a pretty good player. They also have a receiver, number eight, Hartwell, is also a good player. I think it'll be a big challenge for us this week. But I think Coach will come up with a good plan. I think we'll be able to do something to stop him this week. He's good. No, he's good. And again, that, that added dimension of him being able to pull it, pull it down and uh, hurt you with his feet always creates a problem for you. Uh, so we have to be disciplined and stay in our rush lanes and uh, in our blitz lanes. And then when he does start to pull it down, stay in coverage so uh, he doesn't get one over the top of us. And then get off the field on third down. We got to do a better job, a little bit better job of getting off the field on third down. Very comparable teams right now, us and Miami. I think just watching them this morning, um, you know, they've had some things on their on their special teams that kind of like we've had on offense that create some huge issues for them. That gave the other team points. Uh, so they've kind of shot themselves in the foot in some of those games, those earlier games. But I, they play with a lot of excitement. They play with a lot of energy. Um, coach Trewell's a very good football coach. I've coached against him in, at Michigan State for the last eight, seven or eight years and when he was at Cincinnati before that. But he's a good football coach. They have him well prepared. They like to uh, do a lot of zone, 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 fall. You just get you to fall asleep in the zone, then come back with play fake and naked and all and boots off of the off the zone. Uh, but they'll be they'll be fired up and ready to go. Yeah, this homecoming is always big, man. You got to put on a show for the fans. I think this game is really big for us, especially going into this bye week. I think we need this win that we could just go into this bye week and probably just start showing off what we could do in this MAC conference. Well, you get all the previous players and previous students back to campus, which is always fun. And first, it's going to be the first time for a lot of them to see our team play this year. So um, homecoming's a lot of fun. Everywhere I've been, it's been exciting. So we're looking forward to it.